No, the decision of medical officers of health in Nigeria, I'm in Lagos branch, have now been uh, admonished on the need to follow standard operating procedures based on data into process and is ensure standard diagnosis and care while interfacing with members of the public. Lagos State Commissioner for Health Professor Aikia Bayam stated as well speaking at the annual retreat of the Association of Medical Officers of Health, Amun Lagos Branch, El Nikaja. Professor Aikia emphasized the importance of clinical governance and regulation our units and also pair learning to improve themselves as medical practitioners. The principle would be no treatment without testing. You test for malaria if it is positive, you treat for malaria and you treat appropriately. If the patient's mouth is working, there is no reason to give the patient an injection. That is a malpractice. If the malaria test is negative, then what is it? What it is will be determined by your history, your examination, and further investigations. He told the medical practitioners that Lagos is about kicking off the impact project, which includes the malaria component and the immunization component. By treating the patient with things they don't need, you're actually doing harm. And that is breaking your Hippocratic oath, which is do no harm. By giving them an antibiotic or an anti-malaria when they don't need it, is doing harm. And it is bad medicine. So this trial, or this study that we are about to carry out in, in Lagos, is going to help us to stratify this concept and then reorientate our citizens first. So a significant amount of social behavioral engineering needs to happen. We need to teach the public that most fevers are not caused by malaria. The chairman of the Association of Medical Officers of Health in Nigeria, Amin and Dr. Osoba Batunde, uh, speaking with uh, newsmen and joined the members of the public to always patronize primary health care centers in order to get the best of care. On our part, Chief of Party, the, uh, uh, the Local Health System Sustainability, yeah, Dr. Bonanli Ulushola, helps on domestic resource mobilization. We don't want our people going to honor to um, you know, we don't want them going to honor to those places for to access our care. We want them to come to all to those places, starting from the primary health care system, which is the foundation of the health care system, so that they'll be able to get the best quality of care available in Lagos. And as we all know, you know, in the recent ranking that was done, you know, globally, Lagos it has one of the best health care systems, you know, in Africa. And and you know, this is something we are proud to tell anyone and the you know the foundation of this you know, good healthcare system in Lagos City is actually the primary healthcare system. So we want our clients, we want people to patronize the primary healthcare centers so that they'll be able to get the best healthcare. And another thing about the primary healthcare system is that it is actually affordable. About having one plan, having one budget, having one report, and one conversation. And this makes Nigerian, um, the Nigerian health sector stronger for it. Because we have resources now being harmonized and mainstreamed towards the same objectives, as opposed to having fragmentation and wastages and inefficiency that we do, used to have in the past. With the Nigeria Health Sector Renewal Investment Initiative that the Minister of Health and um, Social Welfare is championing across all the states in this country, we are all aligning our resources and our goals and our priorities towards the Nigerian objects and the Nigerian vision, which is to strengthen our health system and achieve sustainability. Looking at uh, changing the health financing scheme and landscape of, of, of the primary health care and the health sector in general, we're trying to move away from cash uh, out-of-pocket spending to insurance and we're following the mandate of the federal government that all citizens in Nigeria should have by uh, uh, compulsorily a social health insurance scheme as a social safety net against health out of uh, catastrophic out-of-pocket spending. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.